Hello friends, welcome to the video lessons on electronic measuring instruments. In today's class, I am going to explain about the front panel controls of CRO, it is the cathode ray oscilloscope. But before we discuss about the front panel controls of CRO, let us recollect what we have studied in the last class. In the last class, we studied about functional units of CRO, that is a CRT, horizontal amplifier, vertical amplifier, trigger circuit, uh, sawtooth generator, that is sweep generator, and trigger selector circuit, all these are all functional units. And CRT in turn consists of one electron gun, vertical deflection plates, horizontal deflection plates, CRT screen. Vertical uh, electron gun in turn consists of one heater element, one cathode, one control grid, followed by pre accelerating anode, focusing anode, and accelerating anode. After that, we get vertical deflection plates, followed by horizontal deflection plates, then the CRT screen. The CRT screen is coated with phosphor material which has the property of fluorescence that is it emits light whenever the kinetic energy supplied by the electron beam is transferred to the phosphor material then on the inner walls of the crt a material a graphite coating known as aquadag is coated in order to collect the secondary electrons that are emitted after hitting the surface of CRT screen. That is for uh, making sure that all secondary electrons do not disturb the path of the electron beam. So that is about the functional units. Deflection amplifiers. Vertical amplifier is used to amplify the vertical input signal and horizontal amplifier is used to amplify the sawtooth signal or sweep signal. Then what is a stationary waveform and what is a flicker free waveform? Stationary waveform is the one which do not keep on moving instead of would be stable instead of that it would be stable on the CRO screen and flicker free waveform means it will not turn on and off instead of that it continuously appears on the CRO screen without any uh, turning on and off or flickering. Triggered sweep. Triggered sweep is mainly used to make sure that the waveform appearing on the CRO screen is flicker, flicker free. By using triggered sweep circuit, we can get a sweep signal which blocks the retrace period of the sweep signal and thereby provides a flicker free waveform. And then deflection sensitivity of CRT. Deflection sensitivity is defined as the amount of vertical deflection of the electron beam on CRT screen for unit vertical input signal. When one volt of vertical input signal is applied, how much is the deflection that is taking place on the, sorry, how much is the vertical deflection that is taking place on the CRO screen? That is deflection sensitivity 
and we derived the expression for deflection sensitivity of CRT and we have done some model examples also on deflection sensitivity. So this is what we have seen in the last class. Now coming to the present topic, the front panel controls of CRO. We know that any instrument it will have a set of front panel controls. Similarly, a CRO also it will have certain front panel controls. What are all those front panel controls? The controls used for intensity control and focus control and the controls used for selecting the input channel and the controls used for the horizontal movement of the uh, display and vertical controls for controlling the vertical movement of the display or electron beam and trigger controls for selecting either input signal uh, from vertical amplifier or from supply mains or from external signal. So these are all the basic controls that are available on the front panel of a CRO. Let us see in detail how they appear. Here is a typical commercial CRO which is used in laboratories of general educational institutions. A brand called Dick Smith with 20 kilo sorry 2 mega hedge oscilloscope 20, 20 mega hedge oscilloscope and the model number is ps200 g1802 now you can see here various controls on the front panel starting with is the screen CRO screen. On the screen, we have got horizontal and vertical lines. These horizontal and vertical lines are called as graticule of the CRO screen. Then, intensity and focus controls. This is for adjusting the intensity. That means to either increase or decrease the electron beam intensity or in other words to either increase or decrease the brightness of illumination of the waveform that is on CRO screen and the other one is for focus control. Focus control is for getting the sharp beam or sharp display of the waveform on the CRO screen. That is about horizontal, sorry, that is about intensity and focus controls. These two are the knobs used for that. And next is for channel selection. The controls used for channel selection. You can either use input channel connector 1. Here there is a BNC female type socket and a BNC female type socket for channel 2. Actually the probe of the CRO, it will have crocodile clips on one end which can be connected to the source of signal, either a function generator or the output of any oscillator circuit and the second end of the CRO probe basically the probe is coaxial in nature and BNC connectors are mainly used for coaxial cables only. So the second end of the coaxial cable would be a BNC male connector. So if we want to apply the I mean uh, the function generator output or 
some oscillator output or any other circuit output if we want to connect to channel 1 then one end of the probe that is the clips are to be connected in the place where the signal is coming out and the second end of the probe is to be connected to BNC connector 1 if the signal is to be applied to channel 1 and it has to be connected to 2 that is the second end of the CRO probe having male connector of the VNC is to be connected to the female connector of VNC as the second channel so that we can apply the external input signal to the second channel. So that is for channel selection either for channel 1 or channel 2. Then horizontal controls. This total portion is dedicated for controlling the horizontal sweep signal. By adjusting this here we can see time base times per division. By adjusting this we can adjust the frequency of the sweep signal in terms of decades and here this is for fine adjustment of the frequency but here on CRO measurements we talk in terms of time not instead of frequency so here it is given in times per division and here also this is for continuous adjustment of the time period of the sweep signal time period of the sweep signal and this is for the movement of the display of CRO in the horizontal direction. It can be moved either towards left or towards right by using this knob, by rotating this knob, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. And one more uh, push button type switch is used here. When it is released, we can see the signals separately x and y channel signals we can see separately but there is one special application of CRO that is uh, to find out the frequency magnitude and phase of unknown signal with reference to a known input signal in that case what we do is we apply the known magnitude known frequency input signal to either one of the channels particularly to channel x and unknown input signal is applied here as external trigger input to the CRO actually time based signal would be given so that the electron beam is swept across the screen horizontally from left to right but instead of time based signal unknown input signal is applied as trigger here in that case we have to press this switch in so that it operates in x hyphen y mode and here also vertical mode we have to select in the third position that is up for x y mode one is for auto for internal, for external and for line. We have to keep this switch also in the XY mode. Then we get different patterns known as lasciduous patterns. Depending upon the shape of the lasciduous pattern, we can find out the magnitude, frequency and phase of the unknown signal. But that is an indirect method. So that is all about horizontal controls. One is for course adjustment of the time period of the signal sweep signal one is for fine adjustment of the time period of the sweep signal and one is for xy mode operation or normal x or y mode operation and the other one is for horizontal movement of the display by rotating this knob that is about horizontal control then comes the vertical controls. Here this is a dual trace CRO that is 
it will have two channels and we can apply the external input signal to any one of the channels separately and whichever channel we apply the external signal we have to use that particular channel controls suppose if i have applied the external input signal to say channel 1 then i have to use these controls what are all the controls available here one is the vertical gain you can either increase or decrease the gain of the vertical input signal and you can make the vertical signal to move either up or down you can make the vertical signal to move either up or down so that the display also moves up and down here in horizontal controls you can make the display to move left and right whereas in the vertical controls the display can be moved up and down by adjusting this now and here one three position switch is there slider switch what is the purpose of this you can select either ground position or dc measurement position or ac measurement position when this slider switch is in ground position even though external signal is applied to this bnc connector that will not be applied to the vertical amplifier internally it will be disconnected and we will see only a horizontal line only a horizontal line when this signal when this switch is in uh, ground position that is no external signal is applied and because of the sweep signal the electron beam is continuously swept from left to right so we can see only horizontal line right when this slider switch is in dc measurement position then actually this electron beam which is at one place say at the center of the screen it will shift either upward or it will shift either downward when a dc signal is applied when a positive dc voltage is applied then it will move up the straight line will move up when a negative dc voltage is applied the straight line will move down initially the voltage is zero so electron beam is sweeping and electron beam is at the center and we get the display a straight line at the center when a positive voltage is applied the beam will be moved up when a negative voltage is applied the beam will move down so naturally along with the beam the display associated with the beam on the cro screen also appearing as a straight line will either move up or move down and the difference between the center position and the new position to which the display has shifted will give the dc magnitude of the applied input signal similarly when this slider switch is in the second position that is in ac measurement position then we can apply both ac signal as well as dc signal to the channel suppose if the switch is in dc measurement position and if we apply ac signal here you cannot you cannot find any signal i mean any waveform on the screen but when the switch is placed in ac position then you can measure both ac as well as dc so generally only when it is required to measure dc voltage we will keep it in dc otherwise it would be kept in ac always the same arrangement to the channel 2 also one is for vertical gain adjustment one is for vertical movement of the display other one is for selection of either ground position or dc measurement position or ac measurement position and here vertical mode also is there as i told already you can either select auto mode or you can select dual mode 
you can select xy mode or you can select internal mode so that is and one more thing here is the input signal can be either dc or ac coupled that is about this one right next trigger controls here you can see four knobs i mean sorry two knobs and two slider switches this knob is for adjusting the amplitude of the trigger signal uh, by adjusting this we can adjust the trigger amplitude and by adjusting this we can adjust the trigger frequency so by applying triggered sweep and generally it would be in hold mode that is it will not be flickering suppose if any flickering is there then we have to use this knob for adjusting uh, for eliminating the flicker or if the signal is moving left or right in that case by adjusting this knob you can get a stable signal so stationary waveform can be obtained using this and flicker free waveform can be obtained using this and one is here coupling switch this is called coupling switch generally it will be kept in auto mode and the source switch that is this one it would be moved to the input channel being used that is either to x position or to y position or x y position so that is about trigger controls and we have seen horizontal controls vertical control trigger control and channel selection now what are the basic measurements that can be done using cro we know that unknown input signal can be displayed on cro so when a display is available on the cro screen then depending upon the position on graticule of the cro screen we can measure the frequency as well as magnitude of the applied input signal magnitude is measured in terms of volts and frequency is measured in terms of time that is time period can be measured directly a simple example here you see a sinusoidal signal appearing on the screen and if you see 1 2 3 4 5 the sinusoidal input signal is taking five oh, what we say divisions for completing one cycle for completing one cycle and in horizontal controls you can see here time per division switch so in this particular example the time per division switch is chosen to be 5 milliseconds per division to get a this type of display so when the dis when the time per division switch is in 5 milliseconds per division then one cycle of the input signal is taking five divisions to complete one full cycle so naturally what is the time on the x axis for one cycle one cycle is taking five divisions place and each division corresponds to 5 milliseconds so total the time period of the external input signal is 25 milliseconds then what would be the frequency obviously the frequency is 1 by time period so 1 by 25 into 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 3 when goes to numerator it is 10 power 3 that is 1000 1000 by 25 that is 40 hertz <coughs> so we can say that the frequency of the input signal is 40 hertz and what about the magnitude if you see here the signal yes so 
starting from here to here upper end to the lower end it is taking 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 six divisions so the peak to peak magnitude of the applied input signal is covering six divisions on the vertical scale and the vertical gain of the amplifier here is set as 5 millivolts per division sorry so 2 volts per division it is covering six divisions on vertical scale and each division on vertical scale corresponds to 2 volts so for six divisions obviously 12 volts so the peak to peak amplitude of the applied input signal is 12 volts peak to peak so that is how we can measure the time period and the peak to peak amplitude of the applied input signal using crvo this is the basic measurement apart from this many other parameters also can be measured using crvo let us look into the details within a few minutes please stay connected thank you